the new and advanced iPhone mirroring feature that's supposed to work seamlessly between your Mac and iPhone is now available. This is all thanks to iOS 18 beta 2 and Mac OS 15 beta 2. They work together to bring that new feature to life. What's interesting about this new iPhone mirroring feature, you can see here that for different users, they actually think that the iPhone mirroring feature will have a bigger impact on their workflow than Apple intelligence itself. And there's a lot of users in agreement. So in this video, this is going to be my first on hands look at this new feature and we're going to be seeing if it's as good as Apple says it is. Now, because this new feature is enabled by the latest beta version that's on iOS 18 beta 2 or newer, you have to make sure that you are on the latest version and uh, you can do that by going into the settings, general and software update if you're on the developer beta. And once you've done that, you can go into your settings, go to general and go to where it says airdrop and continuity right there so it's no longer saying airdrop and handoff it says airdrop and continuity and once you are there you can see you have different settings that you can enable such as handoff and you have mirroring and under mirroring it says iphone mirroring will allow you to use iphone and receive notifications from your nearby Macs and right here it will show you the different devices or Macs that you can use this feature with. So now I'm gonna go to my Mac and show you how this transfers over. If you open up system preferences and you make sure that you are updated to the latest Mac OS 15 Sequoia beta, it has to be beta 2 or newer and now you can see the build number that comes with the beta that you have to be on or newer. So once you've done that you can then go into your general settings and if you go to where it says airdrop and handoff so on the mac it still says airdrop and handoff not airdrop and continuity you just have to make sure that some of these settings are turned on in order to use the iphone continuity feature and now if we go into our launch pad you can see just beside siri apple has installed the new iphone mirroring application at the same time i've put it in the dock or pinned it in the dock right here you can open it from there or you can open it from the launch pad so if you open up the application like this you can see the window is pretty similar to the system settings application or window we can size it up and down but when you want to size it side by side you can't really do that so it has a restriction that way and it says your iphone on your mac quick access to iphone apps view and act on notifications no need to reach for your phone i've put my iphone just here on the side window so that you can see how the iphone screen looks and what will be going on so once you are all caught up with a new window right here you can click where it says not now or if you want you can learn more about the new iphone mirroring feature and you can see the placeholder here says content is coming soon so it's not fully in the os yet the user guide but at the same time if you go to where it says continue right here you can see it says unlock your iphone and my iphone has just locked up right here so i'll just input my passcode just like this and now it's unlocked and you can see there's this loading window on the bottom here now iphone mirroring is ready to use so when your iphone is nearby you can seamlessly use iphone right from the desktop so click get started right here it now brings up this iphone mirroring window which is shaped like an iphone if you minimize it it just goes back to the iphone mirroring application and it says it's locked touch id or enter mac password to log in or to connect so i'll just use my fingerprint iphone in use iphone mirroring will connect when iphone is no longer in use so maybe this means i have to lock my device just like this once it's locked it's connecting to my iphone 14 pro and mac require mac login to access iphone there's a notification as well that says this iphone is being used for from this macbook so just keep in mind that this is what you will see so i'll say ask every time and now you can see the home page of my iphone and i'm basically just using two fingers on my trackpad to swipe side to side like this so you can see my screen time you can see my different applications, my widgets. If I just swipe up and down, I can be able to do that, which is something that's cool. This is my notifications. And yeah, it's actually working pretty good and seamless. The resolution doesn't look like it's the best. 
in the top corner right here we have this grid view which takes you to your home application page so for example if you go into settings i'll go back and then go back again maybe go to software update ios 18 and now if i click on this this just takes you to your app view section right here and if you want to multitask just go to the top right here and if you tap this icon you can see it opens up your recently opened windows or applications and not right now you can see my watch os if i want to close a window i just have to take my two fingers and then just swipe up on my trackpad and that way it will close this application so now if i go into settings you can see it opens it afresh because i had closed it so it's actually working pretty good and my iphone is actually locked right here which is neat if i go to the top setting window here on iphone mirroring click there and you can read about iphone mirroring this is the very first version so this is version 1 1.0 the very first one and this is the worst version that there will ever be if i click there again and go into settings you can see here you can choose the different settings that you want to change so require mac login to access iphone you can choose ask every time or you can choose automatic iphone mirroring will access this iphone that i have selected and change the iphone that iphone mirroring will access in the desktop and dock so if you have a question or you want to learn more like this you can see there's the it pops up the user guide but at the same time it's not directly going to the link of iphone mirroring that's all that you can actually change with this iphone so iphone mirroring has ended to iphone lock your iphone and click try again or restart mirroring so let me try again and see i'll use my fingerprint to log in right here and it's connecting boom you can see it's connected and now if i click on any of these it's actually able to do that so if you connect an accessory to your iphone you can see that the pop-up screen will also show that an accessory has been connected and you can close the window right there an issue that i'm experiencing when it comes to this iphone mirroring feature is that sometimes if you're using your iphone in standby mode it seems to be disconnecting from time to time but now after a few attempts you can see i've got it to be able to work so that's just something to keep in mind at the same time if you get notifications on your iphone those same notifications will also pop up on your mac and you can reply and interact with them directly from your mac without having to take out your iphone if i want to open up an application here like for example imovie on my iphone you can see since this wasn't downloaded it automatically starts to download which is something that's neat one of the things that we were told would be working with iphone mirroring that doesn't seem to be working at this present time is this dragging and dropping files because when i um, go to like a message and try and drop like for example a jpeg which is a relatively small file it doesn't actually drop it at the same time if i go to an unfold application and then try and create a new title and project i can always you know drag and drop like a file like this short video and drop it there that's what they showed off but at this point in time it doesn't seem to be fully functional yet in short that is the iphone mirroring feature that has now been made a little bit advanced now you can use your iphone without having to get it out of your pocket i like the fact that every time you have to do an iphone mirror session you have to authenticate with your max passcode or your touch id which adds to that layer of security and i like the fact that you can use and reply to notifications from different applications without having to get or use your iphone keyboard you can just easily type on your mac keyboard so let me know what else you want to see when it comes to this feature if there's anything specific you want me to test out and um, if you like this video leave a like and comment down below what you want me to test and i'll see you in the next video peace